Hey, it's MK. What is on my desk? It is finally, I don't have anything prepared except for I trimmed down my base piece and put it on this black. That's, I'm, it's not on it. I just put it like on it. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am working off of a sketch. Now this sketch comes from a close to my heart. So I sketched it out. And the only reason why I do this, and I'm, I'm not sure if I've said this in multiple albums, is so that way I can get a feel for how big pieces are. I um, so I just pulled out some stuff, and like I said, I got to cutting this piece right here, and I thought, you know what? I always show these guys where everything's already cut, everything's already ready, and all I have to do is put it together. And for once, I am not working with any Cricut stuff. No Cricut stuff whatsoever. Um, I still have this mess sitting on my desk, so that might make an appearance. And I still have this sitting on my desk. I'm not sure if this is going to make an appearance because, one, it's, I don't know, this is like a dull gold, and then I also have this ribbon here that's a dull gold. And then I only brought these um, sequins mix in for the stars. But I'm thinking I might um, use my cutesy little punch. I have this cutesy little punch that I might just do black stars with because um, black is going to be the accent. And I know that this is huge compared to all the pinks and blues and grays that we've been working with or that I've been working with. Unless you're following along with me, that would be super awesome. I would love to see if you guys redesign with like all girl or all boy or your own thing. So I might not use um, these, but I did pull them out. Maybe I'll do a little bit of both, but I'm not really sure because for one, it's my base is this white, um, this white lined print, and then I already had um, this five by seven cut out from um, my stack of photo mats. Like I said, every time I finish a mini album, I just turn them into photo mats, and then I have a bunch of random ones which it's getting smaller. Yay, go me, right? So I have this, and then I also have these thickers. They're called Good Things, Good good Tidings, and they're like a dull gold. So I have those, and then I really digged into my stash on this one here. This, not these guys, not those ones, but this right here, is an all-time close to my heart, or no, pff, my bad, Creative Memories. Yeah, and it's from their Cheerful Collection, but I only kept a few, I purged a bunch, kept a few, and this was one of the ones, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna use this, and I want. I love this little bubble dot, you guys probably can't even tell what it is, it's like a bubble dot green, I love that. And then this is on the other side. It's a solid gray on the other side of this red stripe. So I might incorporate that. Plus it's kind of got like the stripe come through. And then this was given to me by a Creative Memories consultant as like a thank you gift. And I just pulled out, it was like a little collection. And I just pulled out a ton of stuff that I thought I wanted in. And I did have these, like, oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I had two green and one red, and now all of a sudden I have two red and one green. I have no idea. That's just really weird right there. So, anyways, maybe I'll find the other one. That's crazy. But I thought before designing it and cutting it all out and having it all ready and then you just watch me glue it together. I thought I'd show you what I have and um, start my process with you guys. All right. I thought it would be fun to actually do the Christmas layout on Christmas Day. So I am kind of going out of order a little bit. What I'm doing here is I am just trying to figure out what layer I want on top to go behind the photo mat. And once I figure that out, I go off and cut my pieces. And now I do want most of the layers to be straight. And then I want the other layer to be um, kind of crooked. So I pull out my ruler 
to make sure that I have, you know, like it completely straight. When I work with stripes, it's very hard for me to see whether or not it is straight. And then once I get it all laid out and and on the layout, <laughs> it's not straight one bit. So I do rely on my ruler quite a bit. Plus, I wanted it to be a specific size. I wanted it to take up a large portion of this layout so that way I didn't have to like it takes it helps the decoration part of it I guess or not decoration decoration's the wrong word I've got decorations on my brain you guys um it it helps with the embellishing of the layout when you have a large photo cluster like this I don't know why I pulled out my ruler to help me put it on the diagonal that was really silly of me and it took me a minute to um you know finally just put it away and say really? <laughs> so I'm also going to put this, uh, like, I don't know, lined paper. I, is that the technical term? Anyways, I'm going to put this also at an angle. So then that way, um, I've got two layers that are at an angle and then the photo is actually straight, even though it doesn't look straight once it's in the album, it actually kind of looks like it is also on an angle as well. Now here I had a extra piece of washi and that's kind of what I was talking about when I said that I still had this on my desk and that on my desk because I actually did several layouts before I did this layout and I recorded them in order and so I'm that's what I mean by I'm going out of order by posting this one first, but it just makes sense to have a Christmas layout on Christmas Day. <laughs> I, I thought, anyways, I just really wanted to go out of order here really quickly. So I am taking this striped uh, washi tape. I believe it is from... Um, oh my goodness, I don't know, but I got it from a planner catalog. And it's, oh, you guys, it's a very... It's a very popular company, but I don't think it's my mind's eye. I, I don't think it is. Anywho, I found it in a planning, um, in Franklin Planners, and they've got gorgeous planning books. And uh, anyways, I'm, I'm off subject and I got squirreled, but that's where I got this entire washi set. Actually, I've got a gold washi set that came from the planner section in a planning catalog. Um, and I thought that they were adorable and cute. So anyways, um, just popping down a little cluster down at the bottom to uh, take away from that white space. I don't remember exactly what it says, but um, you know, it's all family oriented. I cut out these uh, pine leaves or pine needles, I guess, from a Stampin' Up! die cut that I have. I absolutely love it. They're so intricate. And I'm just ripping them, like ripping the tops of them off with my fingers. It's you know, it's not like um, it's devastating or anything. Well, it was at first, but <laughs> it's better than, you know, pulling out my tweezers just or t scissors uh, for just one little, you know, thing. It's not like I'm going to keep the other part of it at all. So, and I did notice that I started using my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive during this layout. So I wonder if I ran out of my scotch. I don't know, but I do know that I have not been able to find another bottle in any of my local stores of the Scotch um, Tacky Glue or Quick Dry or whatever it's called now. I don't know. Um, I just haven't been able to find another bottle, but I really liked that bottle. Uh, I really, really did. I love the Nuvo glue, but I'm too lazy to transfer glues from one bottle to the other. That's, yeah. So I'm putting up with my Nuvo. I do have several of these Nuvo bottles. Um, Tonic Studio has a, had a sale on this stuff, you guys. And I went nuts. And then my husband bought me some too. So I ended up with, I think, six bottles. Yeah, I have enough glue to last me at least a year. At least. We'll see. We will see. All right. So I have my title cluster kind of already laid out. I love incorporating um, an entire ginormous cluster that is my title. I, I just, I absolutely love doing this. It's my favorite thing. Um, I don't say, I don't think it's a signature thing, but it is something that I enjoy doing is making the title part of the layout instead of just, I added a title. Here you go. Ta -da. Anyways, <laughs> and these peppermint candies. Oh my goodness. You guys, I am in love with these little peppermint candies. I, I just want, I just want a whole die cut pack of nothing but these peppermint candies. I don't know what I'd use them for. I, I don't know anything, but I just... I really, really love them. 
<laughs> it's my thing this year, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so I'm just adding a little bit of pine cone dilios um, into each of the little clusters. I've got kind of a large cluster, kind of an extra large cluster, and then a medium cluster going on. And um, the pine needles are really what helps grow those clusters, even though I used very little elements within those clusters. So uh, it was fun. It was a fun touch. I did end up actually punching out um, black stars with my little tiny punch instead of using the sequins. Uh, I just didn't think that the white sequins would show up on this lined paper at all. And this is pretty much it, you guys. That was as simple as it is. It's you know, four layers of paper, a photo, and a photo mat, and then three uh, little clusters. Actually, they're not. They're almost all the same size clusters. I just now realized that. Um, these are some of the stickers that I picked out. Not a whole lot would have um, matched, but what I did pick out I thought was pretty cute. And they had these little teeny tiny, um, like, berries that I thought would look kind of cute. And so I added each one, or I added one or two to each little cluster. So that way, oh no, it looks like I only added to the top and the bottom. Oh, the middle one did not get one, sorry. But that's it, um, a little bit goes a long way and I absolutely love how this one turned out. It would be a great first family uh, Christmas with the twins and I hope that she likes it. I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed a Christmas layout on Christmas day. I think it's great that my photo actually like took photo the lines are all weird anyways um i will check you guys out tomorrow for another baby album layout thanks